Hey everybody, Ryan here at Eat Trailer. Today on our 2022 Super Forester, we're gonna be checking out the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. First impressions of the rack on the back of the Subaru, I think it looks really good actually. You know, these Foresters really do accept accessories well. And especially with something like uh, the Hitching Post Pro, this is kind of the flagship rack, if you will. You know, it's, in my opinion, it's kind of has a timeless design and matches just about any vehicle you put it on. So looks right at home on the Subaru. Um, the way this works is really simple and that's one of my favorite parts about it. Um, just not much to it. And it's gonna be a great way to carry around a lot of bikes to and from the trails, right? So this is gonna hold up to a total of four bikes and uh, be relatively compact uh, while, while being able to do that. So pretty good there. Uh, but like I, like I said, rack works very uh, simple. It's gonna hold your bike down in three different spots. So you're gonna have two straps here along the top two and a strap down here. And what this one's gonna help do is help limit that side to side movement. That way your bikes uh, aren't, aren't banging into each other as you're going down the road. Uh, but let's go ahead and just take the bike off and have a better look at the rack. So pull down on your straps, flip them up and over. Same deal with this guy here. We're able to take the bike and slide it off. Um, compared to some of the other racks, this has somewhat narrow arms. It's about the perfect width though. So they're wide enough to like, you know, actually keep your bike secure and uh, whatnot, but not so wide that it makes it difficult to pull the bike off. So a lot of times if they get too wide, you just have to really fight it all the way. And that's just really not the case at all with this one. The cradles here where your bike's frame is gonna sit, they're relatively wide and pretty deep actually. So a lot of different bikes should be able to fit right inside of there. Uh, a few grooves in there for your brake cables and whatnot. And they're made from a, it's almost like a, a hard rubber or soft plastic. Really shouldn't have to worry about it scratching up the paint or anything. And one of the things I'm a big fan of is these straps. So these are really thick, uh, super, super durable, honestly. This rack we almost use every day, putting it on different vehicles, seeing outfits and whatnot. And so it sees a ton of use and these things just last forever. They hold up great. Uh, so for the average person, um, even if you were to use it a lot, these are probably gonna last uh, your lifetime or as long as you're gonna plan on using the rack. So it's up there. That's not always the case with other ones that are similar to this. A lot of times they're just kind of just kind of cheap and flimsy, honestly. So uh, good to see there, but I do suggest putting these just strapping them back down, that way they're secure and not flopping all over the place whenever you're going down the road. Something you do need to think about whenever you put the rack on the back of your Forester is the fact that it is gonna extend the overall length of it. And uh, to figure out exactly how much, I'll measure from, I'll just go from our hatch to the very edge of the rack. It looks like it's gonna set right at about 42 inches. So you got a tight garage or Try to swing into a tight parking spot. Keep that in the back of your mind. Um, but the, the arms do fold down and become, uh, becomes a lot more compact whenever you're not using the rack. So there's a pin and clip, pull that on out, swing these down, put that pin and clip back in. And now it makes it pretty compact actually. Uh, so we'll just go from the same spot here on the hatch, very edge of the rack. Looks like it's only going to add about, I'd say 21 inches to the back of your Subaru. So in this position, really shouldn't run into any issues, even if you do have a smaller garage or try to swing into that uh, tighter spot. One of the big questions that we do get asked all the time in regards to hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna be able to get access to the back of your Forester. And with this one, the answer is yes. Uh, the rack swings down out of the way and allows us to get inside. So pin a clip here, pull that out. This swings down quite a bit actually, more than a lot of the other racks. So it really gives you a lot of space. 
And that's gonna allow us to open up our Forester and get whatever we might need and then out of the back. Moving on down here, uh, the rack is gonna work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Subaru. But it also has the ability to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter hitches. So if you happen to have a different vehicle in the household, the size hitch, chances are really good this rack is gonna work with it. This is going to come with an anti-rattle bolt which what that's going to do is eliminate any slop or play in the connection point and prevent the rack from kind of clunking around inside of the hitch. So to give you an example on that, say if you're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is going to move with our Forester and not on its own. Other than that, though, at the end of the day, if you're looking for a bike rack uh, that carries around a lot of bikes, what you definitely can't go wrong with. Um, you know, these are super popular and I can see why. You know, they're easy to use, really well built, and uh, they look good. So honestly, what more could you really ask for? And if you're anything like me, you always wanna see the product you're interested in actually working or in action. So why don't we go ahead, load up some bikes, go out on the test course and see how this does. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2022 Subaru Forester.